What's up, YouTube? Welcome to All Three Garage. If you tuning in, you tuning in. Thank you uh, so much. As you can see, I'm fin to fit this bumper on here. I think we're gonna have fitment issues with this front grill right here. But other than that, man, let's get her on. Today is a beautiful day. It was raining really bad. Uh, we should be having like some tropical storm. That should be coming in tomorrow and it should end Thursday. I don't know. Hopefully everything uh, will go all as well and that and don't get messed up. Yeah. Anyway, let's admire this truck right about now. This thing like it's all clean. So I am gonna change the tires. I'm gonna lower the truck, get some new wheels. I was looking for some new wheels. Thinking about getting some Cadillac Escalade uh, wheels or some snowflake type wheels. I don't know. But anyway, let's get this bumper on. All right, guys, so we got half of the bumper cut. We gotta go by right there. And then I need to unbolt that and take that piece off. All right, guys, so this is the finished product right here. I'm finna use the flat wheel loaner uh, just to smooth out the edges, and then we're gonna fit it up. Uh, it's pretty easy, not too bad. Gotta change this bad boy out right here. Kind of wavy all right guys this is not perfect at all this is not perfect but it would do uh, i gotta cut this edge just a little bit more and then kind of cut down this way just to have it smoothed out but other than that she fit perfectly all right guys we got the bumper fitted I need to see uh, what grill could possibly fit across. So I might leave it like here, leave it like this and probably just put like a black screen or something to protect uh, the inner cooler, uh, the air to air inner cooler from bugs and all that. I might plan on doing that, but it looked pretty cool like this. Um, I think that's just pretty much it. I might end up putting some pile lights or something down uh, below like some yellow ones. I love yellow pile lights. Uh, get a tag. And uh, I'll probably call it Dusty Hole or Turb Hole. Or y'all let me know what, what name should I put on the tag for this Tahoe. Dusty Turbo, uh, <laughs> I said Dusty Turbo. Dusty Turbo, Dusty Tahoe. Y'all let me know. Um, this truck gonna look so sick lower too. Like, it's just crazy. Any guys that test for Digity, she's strong, nice and stout. I might just leave it like this, the truck, like leave it dusty looking. I could repaint these uh, Bushwhacker body fenders. Um, I, might end, I might end up doing it. I might just leave it all rusty and like, you know, looking. But I might clean it up just to have like a clean truck. Cause if I get some brand new spanking wheels i'm thinking of getting like some snowflake wheels or some let me know what wheels y'all would like to see on this truck let me know what wheels y'all would like to see uh and dm me the pictures dm me uh at auto three garage on instagram uh, we're almost at 10k there but dm me to see which wheels y'all expect to see on there i was thinking about some cadillac escalade wheels the like the 2017 um 22 inch wheels or snowflake wheels or just the regular um tahoe wheels um like the five spoke if i ain't mistaken that's on like the 07 and 08 uh tahoes um and also looking at this one dude who do like custom folder mirrors uh he did a drop and all that so i'm gonna look at his video see what i need to do to do this drop but I'm gonna make sure this truck run first properly. I'm gonna have to take it down the road to make sure and then take it to the tuner. 
Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, um, she crank up on a dime. Like, if y'all haven't seen a recent video, go watch recent video. Okay, guys, so once my fittings for the O2 sensors come in, um, for the driver's side, I need a 90 degree one uh, that I ordered. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that won't work. It just screws in, and I can just screw in um, the O2 sensor. I think the thread pitch was like uh, an M18 by something, if I'm mistaken. But I know I had to research to see which was the thread pitch for uh, the Tahoe uh o2 sensor so i should have that locked down so i got a 90 for the passenger side because i can't really just put the o2 sensor because it's gonna hit like the firewall and the thing would be unnecessary to make any clearance um especially um now this side uh, just got to weld up a bong so i'm gonna have to take this exhaust back off rewrap it and put the bong there and uh that's pretty much it so once those two items are in probably need to drive it to a gas station well i need, probably need to make sure i got insurance on there first uh gas her up drive it make sure she's shifting like she's supposed to hopefully it shifts um i don't know how that's going to go it should shift though because i bypassed the safety neutral switch to send power to that fuse um block for that um relay so it should shift because it was shifting reverse back and it went through all the gears and stuff perfectly fine, but we just got to drive it to see if it's going to shift electronically. Um, but if not, if we like in one gear, so like I said, I'll probably just drive it to the tuner, but that's like maybe an hour and some change away. I ain't even talked to the tuner yet. I ain't even tell him I got it cranking, but I just want to make sure that I can drive it around here first because he did. Say if I like the base tune, like how it is, I can leave it how it is, but I think I'm gonna try to, you know, get it dialed in and stuff. So I can take this truck on like some little uh, trips and all that, and I can tow this uh, Mercedes. So, but hopefully things go clear because we do have a storm or a hurricane that's coming through. So hopefully it don't do any damage um, to what I have outside and stuff. So I'm gonna try to put much of stuff as up as possible. Hopefully nothing don't mess up like this uh, car part I have. Hopefully nothing don't blow away off of it. If this stand through, you know, I built this by hand. And if I built this and it stays, it's bulletproof, it's crazy. Um, but we ain't too much around with trees. Only got one tree that's on the other side of the house, but we don't really got too much trees around us. Nothing like too major. And hopefully no tornadoes or anything come up either. So y'all be safe out there, stay safe. And um, i catch y'all next time, uh, hopefully. Yeah. But this bumper is on there tight. And like I said, let me know what tag, let me know what tag uh, I should, what should I name this? Dusty Ho? Uh, y'all let me know the name. Uh, comment down below if you are watching, comment down below, I don't care if you knew or if you um, return and like, you know, let me know. And I will see y'all, peace.